All right, thank God for technology in a sense, although my photos are not gonna be able to be done tonight. So uh, I'm gonna have to, I ran out of time just like usual. I'm getting ready for an East Coast run here, no bit, first of November. Jeremy, 303-666-9020. That's who I'm t who's talking to you right now, Jeremy, the owner. Um, and my wife, which is not down here, uh, she's up with the baby. Jeeps Unlimited, okay, seven acres. We have a gigantic yard out here and we just do Jeeps. Uh, we have a couple trucks in the back, but by and large, this yard is filled with Jeeps and CJs, YJs, TJs, JKs, and even some Grand Cherokees. So we got quite a few things going on up front here. This is the seven that's gonna be available. If you do catch this uh, in time, I am heading out first week. That thing is still available and it's a grade A plus CJ7 tub. It has, if not no rust, very little. So, okay. Now back to the, the star of this video okay and i'm i'm mentioning the videos because or the photos because it looks fairly light out right now but it's not this there's a flat there's a you can see on my hands illuminated there's a, a light on this camera and i think i'll be able to do a video but uh i'm not sure we're going to be able to do much else and there's my wife right there what is she doing i don't know what she's doing she's going down look at something anyway um distraction so 72 to 75 jeep cj5 tub non-tailgate okay um this tub we're grading it as an a tub okay i don't know what it originally looked like because somebody had already started a restoration on this and has already done majority of the work okay so there's a little bit of flash rush and what is flash rush is basically bare metal that's oxidized there is absolutely nothing you have to do other than getting a wire wheel out if you wanted to um you could you could go back over this one had been sandblasted at one time and look all the it's just it's ready to basically paint i mean get the little bit of obviously don't paint over this but um this tub is ready to rock so uh it's an opportunity for somebody who's looking for a 72 to 75 and i know there's guys out there that have been calling us for over a year and I've mentioned, I've reached out to every single one of them and said, hey, it's here. And I know it's going to happen. The moment that I get this thing up and sold, every single one of those guys is going to call me and tell me I didn't do a good enough job trying to get a hold of them. But it is what it is. So it's going to get listed live now that I've waited long enough. All right. And I have a few people that are interested in just in the last couple of days. So I'll do the same thing. I'll get you these videos. And the first one that calls does a deposit. It's your tub. Um, and then I'll be showing up at your door. So without, with that said, let's go over it. And my, my point to this video is to show you this tub as if you were standing right next to me, okay? I cannot emphasize that enough. That is, this is for your benefit and my benefit for pricing. That's how I price these tubs. I actually do it when I do the video because I go over them with you as if you're standing here with a fine tooth comb, okay? So raised lettering, that's all factory. This is a factory tub. This isn't no repop or anything like that, okay? Now, this is where some of that repair work has not been finished. The bat, this very common, it probably was right around here is what I would imagine, uh, was rusted through. That's usually where they rust on these tubs. So somebody did it, it and they didn't do a bad job, but they didn't really finish it. Honestly, this is pretty smooth through here. It just needs to be finished off and i didn't have time to wash it i wanted to get it gone up and going so okay so this panel somebody come in and clean up the weld a little bit fill in a little bit here and then in this area same thing so um i've had a few guys say yeah we could rock that like that and other guys said i'd probably redo this section just because they kind of left out and you'd have to fill in with some material but i'm gonna leave that up to whoever's fixing it and doing it Okay, floorboard, same thing. Somebody's already done this. Okay, you can see the little bit of, this is all nice and clean, firewall. Okay, and I think right through here, this one actually done, it's done pretty well. So um, this floor is all, you can tell this is replacement floor panel. And you can always tell replacement pieces because they're a little tinny, but nonetheless, it's a, this is a branded, not a Chinese cheapo one. Um, it's as best you can get as far as floor panels go. So, okay. And then up through here, nice and clean. All through here, nice rear floor, nice rear non-tailgate, obviously. This is a non-tailgate. Yes, this is factory. 
can't tell you how many times people tell me that somebody welded their tailgate shut and I go, no, 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 no. That's actually how it came. So usually the Renegades had these, if not only the Renegades. So again, all this discoloration, this is just what we call flash rust. I like to call oxidation because rust is always something that people are like, oh my God, it's rust. But this is not like, there's no scaling, there's no loss of material, there's no nothing. A wire wheel, matter of fact, a, a scotch bright pad would clean most of this off, okay? I think this is just a little dusty. You see the dust coming off of it, okay? And then, I don't know what they were maybe fixing here. Yeah, I think they were still doing panel work here. So this looks like a patch, maybe a patch panel or something they were gonna pull out. So a couple dimples in this one here. Okay, it's like nice and smooth up through here. And then you can actually see, there's your line. So I wouldn't be afraid to use a little bit of filler on this tub in those areas. I usually don't like filler on Jeeps because they're so rigid, but um, something like that wouldn't be a, a big deal. But I, I am not a body guy. I have worked around body guys all my life, but I let them do this, this kind of stuff. So same thing on this side. Okay, they did exactly the same. And this one, you can tell we almost finished it. So look how nice that came out through here. You can still see it's not not completely done, but it's pretty dang close here, okay? It looks like they already started using a little bit of filler there, so. And that's something you'll notice in my videos. It's like a pimple. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not show you, you know, if I can get my fingernail in something and start picking away at it, um, I definitely will, so. All right, and then you got the floors. Again, nice and clean. This one's clearly been done before. You can see a little bit of the seam they left there. But overall, they did a pretty dang good job. For whoever did this, you can see a little bit of it there. Okay, and then I'm completely out of light now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it in the air nonetheless. I'll have to redo this tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, unless I do get an email back, and there's a possibility, especially like I said, these 72, 75s are hard enough to get, but normally when somebody figures out we have one, it don't last too long, so. Now you're really gonna see this, this tub in its glory and see what kind of repair work they did on it. So, first things first, there's your torque pockets, okay? Um, these are exceptionally clean, and you can see where they re-welded, probably for this floor, but these guys, are amazing that's one of the reasons i like this tub so much i love the i love torque pockets you always hear me they're one of the more difficult things to replace and they may have done some work on these but these look factory they definitely retacked the floors in with them and they did a pretty dang good job because normally people hack these when they get into them so uh they just did a little tax they haven't done any full beads on them they probably just got them in there okay nice clean rear wheel wells no rust in that area nice and clean and straight okay same thing, a little flash rush up in here. Somebody had this tub completely sandblasted and then instead of putting a primer on it, which is what they should have done, they didn't, they did not, so. Okay, little holes here, uh, all your factory, nice clean threads, okay. That guy, and then nice spider web there. I don't get too many bad spiders around here, but I still don't like sinking my hands in them. All right, and then there's, a, those are original, you can see the, almost like a rubber they use these as like an isolator to to kind of for vibration stuff so uh this is okay and then up through here torque pocket nice and clean through here all right so a lot of repair work has already been done on this tub not much else needed but there is there is a little bit cleanup to do okay and then lastly uh again if you're not familiar with these tubs this is this big we call it like a tunnel cover, basically. Um, this big cutout is actually factory. They're gigantic on these early ones. So um, I don't know if I have any of the panel work for that, this tub, I'll see. Um, we usually sell it with the tubs if we have it. And if I have it, I'll, I'll make note of it when I list this if it doesn't sell beforehand. But um, otherwise, if you see this and you're interested in this tub, I will get, uh, I will get out in the yard and see if I can come up with some of it there's actually a, a few pieces to it so um but nonetheless that's it okay 303-666-9020 short video but again the the friday the 13th and i heard it was a full moon tonight so uh we'll see uh I'm on the fire department so i the guys are all kind of waiting 
guys and gals were kind of all waiting to see if tonight this ended up being a crazy night for us. So, uh, all right, well, I guess that's it. Call me if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll be sending this off probably in the morning. Our internet out here is pretty slow, and I don't know where my wife went a minute ago, so I'll have to go figure that out. Um, okay, and if you need anything else, please, the website's awesome. We've, it's taken us a long time to build that, but understand that it takes an immense amount of time to get listings up. So if you don't see something, it doesn't mean we don't have it, okay? Um, this is the windshield frame to it. That's a nice, clean shape. So we got a nice windshield frame. We got a nice hood, okay? I'm showing you this up because these are all things as you probably already know are hard to get. I believe this is the grill for it, maybe. Um, so it's a little earlier, but I think that's the grill for it. And what else we got? That's that, I don't see the tunnel cover, but I'll, again, I'll kind of dig around and see if I can come up with where that might have ended up. Um, and if you know anybody who needs seven tub, I will probably sell before it gets actually dismantled. When I say sell, we call it pre-dismantle. Um, it just means a deposit gets put on it and money down on it gets it moved to the front of the line versus just kind of willy-nilly going out and listing this yard as we go. So lots and lots and lots of Jeeps. We have a very good selection of YJ tubs, TJ tubs, YJ frames, TJ frames. And then we do have a few 72 to 75 frames that are in good shape um, as well as some 76 to 86, seven, and then of course 83, up to 83 on the five stuff. So, okay, I think that's it. All right, I gotta go deliver an action now. Thanks a lot.